You're listening to Author Conversations, the Stenhouse Publishers podcast. In today's podcast, recorded at the IRA conference in Minneapolis last week, Lynn Dorfman and Rose Capelli, authors of nonfiction mentor texts, discuss how nonfiction engages kids and how mentor texts reflect the passion and voice of nonfiction authors. Lynn speaks first. What I really love about nonfiction is the way it helps children discover more about the, themselves and about the world. I just love when kids can dive into topics that there are many experts about and write more, uh, do the research sometimes that's needed, or even the kind of writing that goes out into the world, uh, writing to uh, their parents or writing to a coach or trying to persuade someone to do something, write an ad, write a letter. It's just very real world. Yeah, I was just going to say, what you're really describing is, is real world writing. And I think that's what pulls kids in and gets them engaged in what they're doing so that they, they have a purpose for it. And it makes them a better writer. It gives them a, a real world purpose. And after all, school situations should really mirror what's happening in the real world. And kids should be writing real-world stuff. They shouldn't just be writing for their teacher. Uh, One of the things about writing is to give kids multiple audiences. And all too often, when we engage in narrative writing, we're writing really for our teachers or for maybe ourselves. But nonfiction opens up that range of possibilities. Yeah, so they're starting to write really for themselves to discover things about their world. And they get to write in different voices. And that's really great, too, Uh, because if you're writing to persuade someone, you might take on a more formal tone, depending on what you're writing and what you're writing about. But um, if you're writing um, uh, passionately about humpback whales, uh, your voice comes through. That's a great thing, too. Kids can discover that nonfiction writing means that authors are very passionate about their topic. That's where the use of the mentor text comes in because there are so many different formats now of books that really, um, where you can really hear the author's voice comes through, just like what you said. It's not just report writing. It's pulling the writer in. It's getting them excited, and they're passionate about their subject, so they go on and do some more research and, and learn more about their world. So the mentor text really shows kids how they can do that, too, and gives them different formats. And maybe that's another reason why we wrote nonfiction mentor texts, because when we grew up, we didn't have the wonderful books that are available to kids today. Uh, And we think that a lot of teachers appreciate the fact that they can go to our treasure chest and find those wonderful books uh, and use them in their classrooms. There's such a great variety out there that if you don't If you don't know about it, you're just missing opportunity after opportunity to engage students. I think that's one of the reasons why we also asked some of the authors that we know of nonfiction texts to offer some advice for children. What spurred them on? How do they get their ideas? How do they formulate um, their words? And uh, that part of the book, I think, really, really shows kids that authors are real and that they, you know, they can learn from them because they speak directly to them. And Author's Voice is a great addition to our new book because teachers can take those words by those authors and share them with their students. And then, wow, what happens is kids will march off to the library mm-hmm. in hunt of books by those authors. So they'll be studying those authors both as a reader and as a writer. Nonfiction Mentor Texts, Teaching Informational Writing Through Children's Literature, K-8, by Lynn Dorfman and Rose Capelli, is available now online at www.stenhouse.com and your local distributor. Thanks for listening.